Hello guys. Hi, I'm here again with Sharik. And today we were thinking that we'll explain about the reversals in EWM. So you might have seen our videos. We have explained about standard processes inbound delivery being brought into EWM. And we processed and explained different scenarios. But in this session, which is very important for us to know, that how does the reversal happens? What is reversal? Reversal is that suppose you have planned uh, inputs to uh, issue from your side to the customer. Uh, but at the time of issuing, it's realized that you can't issue anymore due to any reason. Maybe truck is not available. Uh, you've done in the system, but physically you can't move the stock. So then you realize that you have to move the stock back to where it was because you can't issue on the same day. So system provides the reversal process. And it's one of the most important thing for us to know as a uh, from a business scenario perspective because these things uh, very often happen in industry okay so i have listed on the steps and sharik will explain it in the system so steps uh, first step as you know you will create your outbound delivery in ewm so a delivery is created in ecc then it is created uh, in ewm it is brought automatically in ewm and then when you create, then you create a warehouse task. Uh, and when you do the warehouse task, the stocks uh, moves to GI zone from the source bin. So the stock sits somewhere before you do the goods issue. So normally you have to put the stock from that bin into a GI zone. So you do that to the warehouse task. And then when you do the goods issue, then naturally the stock reduces from your GI zone, which means you don't have the stock anymore with you. Uh, so you've done that in the system, but you can't do physically. So then you realize, oh man, now we have to reverse it. So then there is an option in the system where you can reverse the stock. So you reverse the goods issue, the stock comes back to the GI zone. So physically also, the stock is in the GI zone and in the system also, you've made it back. So there's no need to worry because you've done that in the system. <clears throat> and then the status uh, of the document changes. Uh, eventually, when you complete the process, back to not started. So when you start your goods issue process, initial document status is also not started. But when you do the goods issue and everything, then it sets to complete. So it's it comes back to completed. And then uh, after putting the GI zone, the final task for you would be to put the stock from the GI zone to your actual source bin where it belonged originally. Okay, so we will see all these in the system now. So this will give you an understanding how in EWM, we do the reversals. Over to you, Sharik. Yeah. Thank you, Pras. Hello, everyone. So now I'm going to share my screen and show you the step how you can reverse the outbound process. So I have already created one uh, warehouse request where I have issued this product, which I have created with the outbound delivery. So you can see picking task is already completed and code issue task is also completed. Yeah. So just so for the can, audience, this is, yeah. I mean, you would all, they would already know this is the outbound screen for EWM. The transaction code is SCWM slash PRD zero. You do execute here. If you don't know the delivery number, then you just execute blank and then it will bring you all the delivery documents that are ready to be uh, goods issued. Okay. Yeah. So 4421 is the one that we are going to work. With. Yeah. So in the monitor also, you can see is nothing in the GI zone, state zero, okay? So in the bin that we have fetched these item is two, right? Here you can see the stock availability is eight. So we'll bring back our product into GI zone and then we'll take from GI zone and put it in our uh, second bin. So let's see how we can do this. So before doing this, uh, you should know how you can carry on this activity is depend on your warehouse process type that is your wpt so for the configuration you just need to follow this path go to scm extended warehouse management go to issue process here you will find cancel picking go here and define your wpt for putback Okay, so 
for put back in standard it's 1020 if it is not there you can already uh, you can also create your own so i have already created my my warehouse number is ewm1 with that you can see i have list put back wpt so if you go inside that make sure your uh, warehouse process category should be 7 okay so let's see what is 7 that is your posting chain because you are transferring good from GI zone to your original source bin and your post chain bin uh, status should be 2 okay which is post in chain never in the storage bin so this is some of the configuration steps that you need to consider before uh, creating your WPT so next step you need to define warehouse number control for putback go there and link your WPT putback to your warehouse number okay this is my warehouse so just number. for the audience uh, what is putback again putting back the stock from GI zone to your original source bin so uh, 1020 is the Put yeah, back number. Yeah, it's the WPT that I've created for this process. Hmm. Okay. Generally, for uh, destination, if you are putting from GR zone to your destination bin, there's some uh, WPT that will uh, define your destination bin. For example, yeah, GR. Yeah. Okay. And same goes with your GI zone to uh, your uh, your source bin. When you are doing the system process. looks for uh, your uh, WPT strategy for any stock movement within yeah, warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for even for reversals, for the people who are watching, you need to have a WPT because without WPT, you can't proceed with any stock movement in EW. Yes, exactly. So, uh, and as for our case, we have already done the good issue. Okay, so you can execute one t code in order to reverse the good issue process go to slash n slash scwm slash fd okay and put the delivery number that is 4421 execute or you can simply just search for the delivery it will be your 2208 2208 is linked to your 4421 I think yeah because I can see the reference document yeah. here you have 4421 yep so here so the somewhere yeah yeah you can see the reference document is stating as 4421 mm. okay so for this you can directly go to this icon drop down and do the reverse good issue okay just click on this okay once you do that your status for good issue will be not started okay and save this would it be wise to just see the stock status now yeah let me so that we know that after yeah you can see now your GI zone is having one stock, which is we have uh, previously issued. Okay. Okay. So you use one quantity. Yeah. So now after that, uh, you need to delete this. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so next step, you just need to go a transaction code slash n slash scwm slash cnc pick okay in that you have to write the delivery four four two one it was right yeah so in that you can see you have uh, many options release talk and release talk with the create warehouse task so you can go here and you will see two options so first is create warehouse task created in the background and in the foreground so background means if you have any strategies to put back your stock 
from your GI zone to your uh, source bin, then that will be automatic. Okay, if you choose the background option. Otherwise, if you want to do it manually, you can go to foreground. So let me show you that. Click on foreground, and here you will see the option to put your quantity, target quantity, how much you want to put it back. So there is only one and the process type you want to choose my process type that i've created for put back is this it already picked my source bin which is gi zone and you just need to put the destination bin so we have picked from this bin that is zero two so we will transfer it here only So stock will be under F2 status. So this will not gonna change. Just click on create and save. Okay. So your warehouse tasks 57 and your warehouse order 20 has been created. So now the next step, you just need to confirm this. Okay. Confirm this and confirm plus save. Now we'll see the stock movement. So if we refresh, our final result should be a stock will get updated to nine here, and the one from GI zone will be moved to your bin two. Let's mm. see. Okay. So now nice. see, yeah. our stock is moved from GI zone to our bin two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the stock is physically now moved to back to the bin. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you check your status for delivery that you have created in the warehouse request. So as you can see, Your delivery four four two one is now showing back to not started. Yeah, back to not started for picking as well as for good issue. So this is the yes. simple step that you can follow to reverse your um, outbound delivery. Good. Yeah, and then uh, audiences shouldn't worry if you've accidentally issued the goods in the real time environment. There's always a chance to reverse. If you've done something, so SAP has all the options that you can think uh, in a stock movement within the warehouse can app. That's why it's so robust. Okay, so is there anything else to add or? No, shall uh, we just this is it for today, yeah, I guess. So lastly, request for most of the people who are watching, uh, please subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, then I will still continue to do the videos. But if you subscribe, I'll be happily doing the videos. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.